Hi everyone. Today I'm super excited to show you one of the products, one of the newest innovations from Celestron um, regarding dew. Uh, dew is one of the things that plague uh, Schmidt Cassegrain owners uh, and refractors, but Schmidt, Schmidt Cassegrains to a, to a greater degree. Uh, that dew and condensation tends to collect as the temperature drops on your corrector plate. Uh, so uh, Celestron actually came up with this wonderful new product, and it's been out for a couple of months, but this is the uh, Celestron dew heater ring that you replace your current retaining ring uh, with this, and there's a dew heater behind it. So uh, it's a really cool product. We're going to install it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at it, and uh, we're going to uh, see how easy it is. So um, let's run over to the table and see what's in the box, and uh, then we'll start with the installation. Sunny skies, the smell of palm tree air. Looking back, I could never feel fair. The way the music has touched my soul. The way that the South holds its control. But I've got a new way, a new way to choose. I'm gonna start running back to the land of the new. Okay, so here we have the, the box for the dew heater ring. Um, this is the nine and a quarter version. They have a number of different versions, including uh, down to their eight and up to their 14 inch. Um, these are specifically made for Celestron. Uh, so let's take a look inside the box and see what's in here. Okay, so we have our uh, USB to 2.1 power, it looks like. That's, a, that's what the power adapter, I think, is for. Um, we have a retaining clip. They clip onto the, the base of one of the, the, the ring of the telescope so you can put your wires in here. Um, then we have our uh, dew setup guide. Uh, do heater ring setup guide and uh, pay attention to this number one uh, for the balancing of your scope and we'll talk about that in a little bit and uh, also for the tightening of the screws you kind of want to do it um, in that star kind of pattern um, and uh, kind of like this just start uh, start here and work your way around so you're going to work your way around uh, across from your your um, dovetail plate and then you're just gonna go kinda around like that, just kinda like a, um, a tire, when you're tightening a tire and you're using the hexes. You don't wanna go around in a circle because then you'll get even pressure around the entire part of the ring so it doesn't tilt or anything. Um, and then we have our actual dew heater ring um, and it comes with this nice little piece of paper in here. So this piece of paper is not for, um, not for uh, decoration. Uh, but it's to protect your corrector lens when you put this on so you don't get any fingerprints or drop any screws on it or whatever. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to place this um, on top of your corrector as you're placing the dew heater ring on top. And as you can see, it's got the uh, dew strap on the inside and uh, your wires here for your power. One of them is your power and one of them is your... Um, uh, one of them is your power. I think it's this one, and one of them is your dew heater uh, thermocouple to judge the temperature. This little notch becomes important um, in a little bit, this little notch right here. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. So that's the unboxing. Let's go over to the scope, and we'll start with the installation. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is we're going to take the cover off. Nice and easy. And uh, save this. You can kind of put your screws in here um, just to kind of keep them all together and uh, place this to the side. Then you're going to take your nice nifty corrector plate protector cover and right over the front just like that. Okay, just so you don't, just so you don't bang away at the uh, corrector. Grab your screwdriver and then get to work. Now be careful under these um, because um, there is a gasket underneath here that you're going to want to uh, take off and place back nicely. 
and uh, that's it. So I'm going to forward this uh, video so you don't have to hear me talk a lot or uh, waste time watching me unscrew screws. So here we go. We're going to fast speed. Here we go. Now, when you're doing this, there's a little notch right here. You're going to want, and there's a notch right here. Um, that is for your, your ring, um, for, your, for your cover. You want to just kind of very, very carefully bend this to get around that so you can slide it out. Now, you saw I, I, I kind of loosened the uh, screws so I could just lift the whole thing out. Um, you could do that or take the screws off, whatever you're. Just like that. And then we're going to screw it back in. That's it. And again, remember, you're starting from directly across from the dovetail. Oh, and one other thing. You want to make sure that this is at, I believe, so the power pack should be at 7 o'clock. So, so, okay, so. So it should be like this at seven o'clock. So let's put the first screw in directly across from okay. I'm just wanting to place the gaskets. They're a little bit of a pain to kind of line up hole after hole after hole. So I just wanted to do one on each side. <clears throat> I didn't tighten this or this up. Uh, because they should be tightened in the sequence that's less drawn. Uh, but I guess um, my point is get the gaskets lined up first, and then you can kind of start following the screw pattern that is needed. So the first thing that we're going to do is screw the one directly across from the top of the dovetail. There you go. Now we can take off our plate. This could be a little bit of a pain in the butt. You may have to kind of use your finger now. Very, very carefully. There you go. Flip that up. And there you go. Uh, the only thing that's left is to put these back in. Go. Um, the only other thing that's left on the installation is the clip. So this clip here goes like that, and then it holds, and it holds these two. Okay. Just slide them in and slide them in and push them. Slide them in. And push them, and then you're good to go. For storage, take them out, push them in, take out the wires, push them out, push them out, like that. Unfortunately, the lens cap doesn't fit on, so you're going to have to take this off. And then we can put this back on. There you go. Okay, so that's the install of the dude heater uh, ring. A little bit, you, you, you don't want to lose this. This is your little wire clamp, remember that I showed you, that kind of clips on the side here. Um, you don't want to lose this. This kind of hooks the, uh, the uh, thermocouple and the power um, so they don't, they're not flopping all over the place. That's the first thing. Um, 
an, an additional, I don't have it, but an additional accessory to this is they sell a two and four channel controller here um, with a thermocouple that it will automatically fire off the two heaters uh, as needed. Um, and it's a really, really cool device and it actually fits right on the CGE, I'll show a picture of it right now, uh, right on the CGE dovetail and it just attaches and plugs in all you gotta do is supply power to it. I'm not having one because I'm gonna attempt to use this with uh, an ASI Air and an Eagle to power it, so we'll see, see how that works out. Um, so um, with the wires, let's talk a little bit about operation. This is a, uh, an extension cable, not for the thermocouple. The thermocouple was actually purchased separate. So you, if you're looking to get this to be all as automated as you can, you're gonna have to buy the thermocouple from Celestron separately. Uh, again, here's a picture and a link. I will leave a link at the bottom of this video. But um, this is a, um, a power adapter extension cord. So as you take this off, again, you'll see two adapters. You'll see one, which is the, U, uh, the RCA adapter, and that is for your, your external power. And two, and this is for the thermocouple, the little tiny uh, one, uh, uh, what is it, the, the, the third size uh, audio jack. And this is your RCA jack for power. This is your extension cable, your cable for your power. So you could just plug this in here. And then you got RCA out um, into your, um, into your power adapter, your uh, Eagle, your, uh, your uh, CWOASI air adapter or whatever. Um, when you're done with that, just place them back in. Take this off. Place this back in. Place your cover on. And you're good to go. So really basic. Um, take a look at the uh, two and four channel uh, um, controllers that they do sell for if you're using this as a standalone kind of operation you can if you choose to just use this without a controller you can as well you can just take your power and apply power to it whichever way you normally power your two heaters uh, it'll be on all the time uh, but um, that would be uh, one of the benefits of having a controller of some sort it will fire on and off as needed so that being said um, that is the Celestron do heat a ring installation, unboxing, and explanation. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, and remember, as always, keep imaging, keep educating in clear skies, and we'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.